let us do a small uh, demonstration of Floquet theory. So, I am going to just demonstrate in MATLAB. So, I will say function x dot equals and I will say f e for Floquet example t x. Okay. So, I am just making this up. I will assume x is three dimensional let us say let us say a is equal to 0 1 sin of t I want commas I want commas and then cos of t minus 3 0 0.2 times sin of 2 times t and then 0 sin of 3 times t minus 1. Okay, so that's a. a is a function of time. There is a sine t here and these are higher harmonics and the cos t has the same period so the period is 2 pi. Okay. And then I have x is equal to a times x. All right. Now I come here and I set my integration tolerance. And I can start with f e some 0 20 times pi. So that's 10 periods of forcing. Um, 3, 1, some random initial condition. Small or big doesn't matter because it is linear, you know. So the solution is scalable. Okay, so there's a problem. What is the problem? Dimensions are not cos. Oh, that should be a comma that should be a comma that's fine we can do that now still not working why is it still not working um Too many input arguments. Of course, it is. It's not returning anything. That is because this should be x dot. Well, that was a small demonstration of debugging in MATLAB. And you can see. The solution there is something that is slowly decaying this is slowly decaying this is over here slowly decaying so we know that there is some aspect of the solution that seems to be slowly decaying but let us run it longer and well that's clear so things are slowly decaying in magnitude we can also do this So now we are plotting absolute value and we will plot it on a log scale and you can see that that's basically there is a straight line sort of behavior there that is because it is going down exponentially on average okay so now let us find that exponent the exponent is not very difficult to find what we can do is we can say plot t and log of the absolute value of x. Um, let me see. That is what I meant. And um, 
So now I need a slope here. This slope is relatively easy to find. What I will do is I will say x equals g input 2. So I'll pick out two points from there. So one point is here and another point is here. And then I will say y equals x second column x equals x first column then i will say polyfit x y one so it will fit a straight line first one will be the slope second one will be the intercept so the slope is minus 0 0.0219 now remember that the period is 2 pi okay so now if I do exp answer times 2 times pi, I get 0.87. This is a number that we will keep in mind. Okay. So now let us do this um, with the Floquet theory approach. All right. Um, this this one is 0.8716, something to remember. Let us do it with the Floquet theory approach. And what we will do is we will say um, E equals I1. Well, I can even say pi here. That's, it's I3. These are my initial conditions. Then I will say Tx is equal to, and over here I will go 2 times pi only. And the initial condition is going to be phi 1. Actually, what I will do is I'll say for k equals 1 to 3. And then over here, I can put phi k. And then I can say x equals x and transpose. In fact, I don't, I can just overwrite. So by the time I finish this three times, phi will become my monodromy matrix. Then I will look at the absolute value of the eigenvalues of phi. And here is the 8721. And um, let me see now. 8716, close enough because that was graphically picked off. Okay, So this one is really small. Is this really zero? Really zero is a bit of a problem. So let me look at it like that and it comes out to be some tiny number. Can we trust it? So what we can do here is we can make this 11 and 11. Then we can say phi equals i3 again. Then we can say 4 k equals 1 to 3, then we can say the absolute value of the i of phi, and it is now still, what we had has changed, it is now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, our error tolerance is 11, let's try 12, I don't recommend pushing it harder than this. So 73259, 7325, something else. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This is what we had the last time. And so beyond 5, you know, we, loosely speaking, if the error um, estimation is any good, we expect to rely on this much. So this just seems to be um, an eigenvalue that is really close to zero. All right, let us change a different this number and let's make it minus two. Okay, so now we have a different problem. So we come here, 
and we say phi equals i3 then we say for that and then we say abs i and now we get different numbers so that one has moved up this one is now quite small okay so these some of these numbers are very small this minus 3 is a problem right because if time goes um, to 2 pi e x p minus 6 times pi is actually a really small number right 10 to the minus 9 so that's probably one problem i can change this to 1.2 i can change this to 1 point some random number okay so now this is a different problem and uh, i think that we will find the floquet multipliers are more reasonable here they are they're all less than one but uh, they are not that small i can make this 0 0.2 i can make this 0 point something i can make this 2.2 so now that's a bigger number okay you can see that uh, okay so now it has become unstable this 1.77 means it is unstable and so now if I go with some initial condition, I won't be able to tolerate such a long one. I'll try 20 times pi. And then I look at the log plot. Here it is. You see it is going up exponentially now. I can come here and say x equals g input. And then I can go to the top of this one on the top of this one and that's a reasonable estimate for the slope then I say y equals what I was doing earlier then I say polyfit and here is my slope but remember e to the exp2 times pi times answer 1 okay so that's 1.76 that's my estimate and it is to be compared with this number 1.77 so that is the end of my simple numerical demonstration of the use of locate theory in a numerical implementation to understand stability thank you